Hello guys, I'm Roland from the Handy Retter and it finally arrived. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. I'm really excited to have it here. And guess what? It's sealed, brand new, and we will disassemble it. I'm really excited how it looks inside. I will do a little bit unpackaging first and then directly, without even turning it on one time, directly start disassembling it right away. Let's go. Okay guys, let's start with the tools that we need. So, um, we will need definitely a screwdriver, a tweezer, a thin plastic card, a needle for taking out the SIM slot and some isopropanol. First of all, I will heat up the device um, about 5 minutes on 80 degrees, so it gets really hot. Uh, I will do that in an oven, so it gets completely hot and I can start disassembling it from the back cover. And yeah, that's it, let's go. So we put, before we put it in on, I first will remove the SIM slot. Alright, let's start. Um, I forgot to show you that I as well use this tool, of course. I need something to go in between and the plastic is not strong enough to do it. But I start as usual uh, with putting some isopropanol in between the back cover and the frame. Not much, just really, really few drops and then starting at the corner as usual. As soon as I see a gap, I start trying to switch to the plastic one. Always take your time because the first step is the most important one. And if you feel that it's not going well, just always put a little bit more of isopropanol in between. As well, really important that you always keep the, the heat. If you feel that it's cooling off too fast and you can't go through, always go again and put it on a heat plate or yeah, use heat to get the strong loose. All right, that's it. So we open the bottom part. The glue is still uh, in this corner a lot. All right, uh, I will heat up again to open the display side. Now we start with the display. But be careful, um, there is somewhere a flex cable for sure. So I don't know where, but I will start this corner. Sometimes it's as well good just to hold it in one position if you feel a little pressure so it until it's released and it's lifted up. But this feels good already. I try to switch to the uh, plastic one. It's difficult. I don't want to damage the display. But uh, you see, you see a little frame, so you always feel the uh, the release of the glue. I will try to lift it up from the top. I'm not sure how it's open up because it's the first time in this device. Always a surprise where the cable go through. I didn't check the internet already. Maybe there is something up that it shows the way, but I'd like to find it out myself. Okay, I see the, the cable. I don't know if it's visible. It's all good. We lifted it up perfectly. And that's it, so it gets to open like this, on this side, how it made, or maybe in this, it's better. Okay, then you can see how it is connected. I guess we can just uh, lift it up from here. There we go. That's the display. So Samsung built in a, a bigger size. As you can see, or as before, the Samsung Z Flip they always have uh, two, two separated um, batteries. The bigger one is located in the bottom part and the small one is located on the top part. How you can exchange them is pretty easy. We start with the bottom, uh, with the top one, and we disassembling the screws.
All right, so we disconnect the flex cable, uh, the sub to main flex cable that's going from the bottom to the top. It's this one that's connecting here to the to the bottom one, uh, part of this phone. And as you can see, this is the battery connector. And some other flex cables. Then we are going to the bottom one. So, um, as you can see, the NFC antenna uh, is uh, connected with two screws. Uh, this is just glue here in the corner. So, and uh, on the next step, um, we uh, will remove this is as well the, um, the sub to main flex. You can feel the strong magnets that they put in because of the of the flip of the foldable design. Now we remove this plastic shield. And as you can see, as on the top, we have two flex cable that is connected to the bottom. Oh, and yeah, so I didn't saw this. So this is the battery connector. We disconnected it before. So now I will heat up the device that we can remove the batteries. Alright, for removing the batteries, you can see Samsung attach a little go-to plan, <laughs> yeah, like this, and then we should pull them up. Let's see if it's working. Yep. Um, this is not that easy if you don't use. I will leave it on if this is possible. Yep. Uh, this is not possible if you don't heat up the device before, so you need the heat um, that it goes that smooth. So always heat it up before doing this. Uh, okay, here is it. This here maybe. Yeah. Be careful not to rip off this cable here on the side. Bend it a little bit and then there we go. I love the sound. All right. I don't know 100%, but uh, I think this is um, just for the back display, um, this battery. Uh, I don't think that it has much more functions, but maybe I'm wrong and they are somehow connected together and use all the capacity from two to one. I think this is more realistic so they use in a combination somehow because it's anyway connected to the to the motherboard directly now we remove the top part two screws strong magnet <laughs> all right uh, so the flashlight is somehow you connected uh, let's see I will just ensure how this goes okay this need to be unconnected as well yeah that's important. I think this goes together somehow. So that's the um, selfie camera that I just disconnected. I will just check if there is something else. Yeah, we have one screw here. The one connecting or uh, holding the main camera. Somehow really strong connected, so I will keep going. the main camera and the motherboard. That's it, that's how we disconnected the whole device. We have some small parts left, um, but you will get them um, with a new display, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe not a selfie camera, but it's just a little bit of heat to remove it. So now we are gonna disassemble it back together. Let's go. We will put back uh, the board first uh, with the camera attached. That goes pretty easy. Connect back the selfie camera. Then we have the one screw holding the uh, main camera on the top. Be sure that it's sitting good. That's a part of the antenna uh, with a flashlight. That's the sound that we need to hear. It's connected. Putting back uh, the screws. And a really strong magnet as you can see. <laughs> Oh, 
putting back the charging port and one screw holding it so and this is how you can put back the battery the new battery the old battery but a battery <laughs> all right uh, we are starting with the bot uh, with the top one um, we put it back like this now we can attach already the flex cable this one I will not attach uh, of course the battery yet we will do this on the last step the battery from the bottom and attach the subdomain flex putting back the loudspeaker and now putting back the screws there you see a mistake that I made I put in the screw in the wrong place I forgot that it was on the other side so just lift this up again those videos that I make are sometimes with some mistakes but it's always good to know them and then to fix them so this screw definitely is holding this side as you can see that hole is for as well the loudspeaker there we go so now I will connect um, the bottom battery and as well the NFC and the two screws holding the NFC connector now we put back the, bot the top battery and we put the back the shield that are holding uh, like this yeah Putting back the SIM tray, putting back the bottom plate, and now the top one. Do it like this, put it here, be careful of the main camera, then you can just flip this like this. Put back the holder and align the top display slash back cover. Now I will heat up the device again on 90 degrees for about three minutes. Put it, uh, we have special clamps for this, put it in clamps so the glue is get strong and then the back cover is tight or the display and the back cover is really strong and tied it back to the frame that's it that's it i hope you liked the video about the galaxy z flip 5 and we are just building up our channel so we really would appreciate if you subscribe our channel we will as well help you with your questions if you have any questions uh, just write them below in the comments and we will try to answer them fast as possible. So see you with the next repair or disassembling video. I hope you liked it. See you soon. Bye bye.